Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome back to another video today. So today we're going to be cooking wines. Wines are so underrated when it comes to cooking. You only need level 35 to start making wines, and they grant 200 cooking experience each, which is close to a shark. Wines are used by using a jug of water with grapes, and eventually after 12 seconds they will ferment into wine. This can be stacked as well. And what I mean by this is you can make like a couple inventories at a time and unless you wait 12 seconds, they won't ferment. Ferment. So basically you could like do this for like 30 minutes straight and then you'll get like a huge XP drop. I'll go ahead and show you what I mean by this when we start the method off, but 200 cooking XP per and it starts at level 35. Now there is a chance that you will basically make bad wine and this is obviously gonna happen more when you're a lower cooking level but this actually stops at level 65 so once you hit 65 cooking you can get 200 xp per wine you make all the way up until 99 this is so underrated but let me just show you the prices here the one raw shark costs 713 gp and then one grape and one jug of water costs 75 gp Okay, I'm going to cook a shark now. As you can see, we gained 210 cooking XP. If I go ahead and use this grapes on the water. As you can see, there's a little rune light timer here and it will show that in 10 seconds this will ferment. Basically, we will get a cooking drop. And let me just show you guys this. 200 cooking XP, very similar. And it's literally a tenth of the price. Keep in mind though, when you go to sell your wines, they're pretty much useless. And when you go to sell your sharks, you actually make a little bit of profit. But you need a lot of bulk money to buy a lot of sharks. And you're only spending 75 GP for the same amount of cooking experience. So today I'm going to be testing this out for a full hour today. And seeing how much cooking experience we can gain in a full hour of doing wines. Wines are a great method to do, and because you need such a low cooking requirement and the ingredients are so cheap, even if you mess up a couple of wines, it's still going to be great experience per hour. And I don't know why a lot of people aren't doing this, and they're just going the regular like trout, lobster kind of method. This is so much better than that. And this stops at level 65 cooking, so 65 cooking, what does that take like a couple hours to get? And then you can get like basically sharks right away without ever burning them. I mean, if you were to do this to 99, you'd lose a little bit of money, but at the same time, you could make a lot from cooking sharks and stuff, but this might be a good method up until you stop like burning sharks, for example. There's always uh, two tick carambons, but that's another story. So basically, all you need for this method is grapes and jugs of water. Um, so basically, you're going to take 14 out at a time and ferment them. And then as you can see, when I do this, that the timer will continue. I'll show you what I mean. So if I go ahead and do like a full inventory here, as you can see the timer resets when I add a new wine or when I add grapes to a new jug. So basically what you can do is let this kind of stack up and get a lot of cooking experience at once. So even when you bank, so I'll show you what I mean when I finish this inventory here. When the timer goes down, it resets again, and this is a way of like kind of stacking cooking experience, but don't worry, you will get the full drop in the end. So as you can see, when we finish this inventory, we will get a huge drop of cooking experience. We just got to wait the 10 seconds now. But yeah, this is a good method. A lot of Iron Man get a lot of grapes from Zalra and don't really know what to do with them. I made a humidify guy on my channel. I will leave that in the description, and that is how Iron Man can go ahead and fill up their wine or their jugs of water. But as you can see, 5k cooking drop there, and what did that take? 30 seconds? This is gonna be pretty good experience per hour, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and reset all of my XP. Do this for a full hour and see how much experience we can actually gain in cooking. It might be all in one drop. I'm not sure. I might go like a little AFK sometimes and miss it. But as you can see, I'm going to reset the XP right now. Um, I also have kind of a lot of XP and cooking on this account. Not a lot, but we're at 16.3 mil. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my rank right now, too. Oh, this doesn't seem to be popping up on the recording. But as for Iron Man, I'm currently rank 2616 for cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what we actually get at the end of the video as well. But yeah, I reset my XP. We're gonna do this for an hour. Let's start. The hour timer starts now. We are 19 minutes, almost 20 minutes in now. I'm going to go ahead and stop, uh, quickly use the washroom, and uh, we will be right back. But let's just go ahead and check out this XP drop. It's going to be pretty big. 158k cooking. What is this, RS3? Yeah, 9 mil cooking an hour at this rate. <laughs> Not really, but that's just what Roomlight thinks. Alright, so I couldn't actually fully get the whole stack. I ended up like sort of AFKing, you know, watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. But we got about 15 seconds left on the timer. This method is crazy. I think it's actually better than sharks just because you make them so fast. Like cooking takes a little bit longer. I mean, two tick caramwans is a different story and I will be making a video about that probably this month, honestly, on my channel. But uh, yeah, five seconds left. So I think I'm just going to let it finish here and watch this experience drop. 25k, not too much. But, as you can see, in the full hour, we have gained 462k cooking. That is mental. I don't even think I could get that with sharks. And to think that you could start this at level 35 cooking, do a couple quests, cook a little bit of like tuna and shrimp at the start of the game, and then you already have a method that's better than sharks, and it's very cheap to do this method. So in the hour, I made 2,341 jugs of wine, and um, yeah, like seeing how much resources I have left from Zalra, like I don't even know, what is that, like 3, three mil cooking XP banked? It's pretty crazy, honestly. Whenever you... Um, Make an Iron Man account, you go to Zalra and get a bunch of grapes. Save your cooking for this because this is crazy. This is mad. Anyways, if you guys like this method, I will leave a link in the description of my humidify guide for Iron Man who want to fill their jugs of water because you're not going to manually fill them, let's be honest. Um, yeah, you can... You, I think I got 15,000 jugs of water filled in an hour with humidify. So how much ever Zalra you do... You can get some pretty good cooking XP, like a quarter or even half of your 99, depending how dry you go on Zalra. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this method. Very good cooking experience, almost 500k an hour. And uh, yeah, you, you stop failing this at 65 cooking. So from 65 cooking, you can get almost 500k XP an hour. Very good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video and I will catch you guys in the next one. See you later. I forgot to mention my cooking rank now. So I went from 1600, or sorry, 2616, all the way to 2352. We almost gained like 300 ranks in just that hour. Anyways, see you guys later.